Okay guys, we're out here identifying some more trees for survival. Now this one here is a false pine, or it's commonly known as a hemlock. Now you can get fatwood actually out of these trees, believe it or not, and their pine cones can be used as fire starters, right along with their small, uh, their small pine needles as well. Now, usually you can tell if these lower branches have fatwood in them, and you can see there's sap in here and it has a dark hue that means there's fatwood in these lower branches in a survival situation if you're not wanting to find an old turned over tree that is punky and easy to get the hardwood out of you can take these lower branches off with a saw and a hemlock and uh collect the sap on a hemlock and also use that as a fire accelerant and the fatwood as tender Okay guys, see that pine tree right there? That is a white pine tree. It secretes more sap than any other pine tree in the world. It's also in the evergreen family as well. It has four leaves instead of three leaves. You cannot use the uh, pine needles to make pine needle tea. It's very uh, poisonous for humans. But you could also get a fat wood out of this one in particular in the stump not on the lower branches but the lower branches though on a uh, white pine tree can be they secrete a lot of sap guys and you can take a stick and collect that sap turn it into pitch with charcoal and uh, rabbit poop you can turn it into pitch there's a whole stand of these white pines back here growing native americans also used to uh cut the bark off of them and sew them together to make waterproof baskets to carry water to make uh, waterproof canteens or berry baskets as well for survival and uh, they would use pitch to line the outside of it to waterproof it really good tree as a resource like I said if you can find one of these white pines that are falling over you could source usually the heartwood or the uh usually the stump will hold fatwood uh you know white pine fatwood is still resinous but on the lower branches you will never find fatwood on these that's where pitch pine comes in handy or hemlock for the lower branches to get pitch pine from hey guys this is a pitch pine that fell over and as you can see there's a bunch of dead limbs now when you're when you guys are fatwood hunting and you're in a survival situation you can gather fatwood from the center heartwood from a pine tree like this pitch pine here when all that bark's falling off of this tree and it gets into its final punky dry rot state you can literally push your hand through this tree and uh get the heart of it out of there and pull the heart out of that tree now if you're in a survival situation you got no tools on you what you see over here is the branch that has fallen out of the uh the tree which is rotten that lower branch probably has fat wood in it right along with the knots in a tree now you can find a standing dead rotten tree a uh, pitch pine tree usually the bark will fall off of it when it's ready see the tree with no bark on it and when you see that that usually is a, a, a huge indicator that that tree has loads of fat wood in it and it's easy to harvest out of it but if it's a standing dead tree usually these knots will fall out of the tree if you look around the leaf litter on the ground in the woods you'll find usually find these little knots from the uh, pitch pines laying on the ground and uh, you could grab those in a survival resource and make a a small wood splitter in order to uh, split that wood in half to split the knot in half like right here we got a tree knot right here that we could harvest or went over the rail here and I can grab that knot and show you guys that knot is full of fat wood guys resinous fat wood it's probably heavy but you know this whole tree limb here right here this spot right here has the fat wood we're not so much up in here but this spot up in here usually has fat wood in it all you gotta do is pull this crap away from the knots and in a survival situation all you gotta do is grab that knot and somehow cut this off of here 
this could all you be used for uh this all right here could be used for firewood because as you can see there's no fat wood in the rest of this limb but this piece of pine makes good kindling from the uh fat wood knot and uh like i said you could already tell it has plenty of resin in it because it's red and it's it's hard you can knock on it that has fat wood in it guys so it's as easy as that to find fat wood from falling over pine trees and we'll take this piece back and i'll show you how to process it okay guys we're back at the homestead here and i'm going to show you guys how to process up this fat wood now the fat wood's only into the knot all the way up to here so we're gonna have to cut away at this spot all the way down by using a hatchet you use a knife for this but a hatchet makes this work a lot easier um, this is like how you can get fat wood very easily although you can find a punky old uh, pine tree out there you get a, two good resources from a punky um, pine tree pitch pine tree you get the fat wood up in here you get good firewood down in here that you can split up and use the fat wood as a fire ignition source and then you get the punk wood from this tree as well that you can turn into charred material for flint and steel kits or ferrocium rod kits on you at all times so you're getting a, a great resource from this tree you're getting three resources you're getting punk wood fat wood and good fire kindling and wood itself to burn with just to start a fire you don't want to burn this to cook or anything like that this is just to get your fire going type of uh you know fuel you got the accelerant the fuel and then the punk wood for basically making charred material now we're going to take away this like layer of sap and punk right here on the on the pine knot and every time you find a pine knot there's always fat wood in there guys always you want to do is pick up the, the tree limb or the pine knot take it like this take your hatchet and remove all this excess from the pine knot like this use this material oh yeah you can as you can tell right here guys that is loaded that is loaded in turpentine right there guys can you see that turpentine and you can smell it too it just smells fantastic guys and you just remove all this crap off of there with a hatchet Now we're going to cut the branch away. You want to cut in downward motion like this and turn your wood. There you go. One pine knot, guys. Ugh. As you can see, there's no fat wood up in here. You could do further cutting on this wood here to get it off by just going like this, holding it down. Ooh, that actually does have fat wood up in it. Look at here, guys. Look at there. We got pink fat wood all up in there, guys. That is one severe, <laughs> that's one severe pine wood knot. Now you can crack this down the center and try to break it in four pieces by taking your hatchet and digging it in here. There we 
we go. And just, you know, going like that with it. And looky, looky here, guys. Got some really nice fat wood, guys. Look at this. Heavily resonated wood. This is kind of what our fat wood looks like here. It might be different in other places, but here in West Virginia, that is some severe fat wood, guys. And that's how you split it safely. And uh, this, this pine knot is loaded with fat wood, guys. And always use a hatchet when you're processing this stuff up. Uh, knives can be kind of harder to do. It's kind of harder to do it with knives, but we're gonna split this up some more. You want to make a crack right there go to the back end here make another make another crack This stuff is hard as a rock, guys. Yeah. And highly resinous as well. You can see all them fat wood chunks. And man, it smells good, guys. And we're gonna try to bust this up some more. Thought I had it, but I don't want to be a little jerk. I'm not good at doing this. This is something I ain't done in a while. But a safe way to chunk this stuff up in order to process it down. As you can see, this is heavily resonated. Like I said, this is uh, what our fat wood looks like, and it's heavily resonated, guys. And take this uh, other piece down here. Split it up in little chunks to where you can use it as manageable pieces. It ain't got to be rocket science to do this. And you just pull it apart like that. And there you go. Now this stuff here is a little bit panker than most fat wood I've found. But this is loaded in resin, guys. And if you let this sit out for a couple days and, you know, it'll even get way worse resonated. This is just pink fat wood. And it's you can smell the terpene in it. it it's good quality fatwood guys from a younger tree you want to find a heartwood out of an older tree if you can but finding a pine knot in a hurry in a survival situation will save your life guys we're gonna start a fire with this okay now the fun part begins guys we already made our kindling over here out of the lower branch of the fatwood we found. Over there's the fatwood on that other uh, metal container. And we got just a small piece of this raw fatwood here. On the back it's better. But up in here you can still use it as fatwood. Okay guys, we worked some of this young fatwood down. Now this is really young fatwood, but in an emergency situation, this type of fatwood, we got it all processed over here. We took the hatchet and we processed up the uh, the rest of the lower limb. Like I said, everything could be used on this pine limb, even the punky wood from the tree, if you're in a survival situation as well, to make charred material. We got a ferrocerium rod, and we already made a nice pile of shavings and some feather sticks on top of that fat wood in order to get a fire going. It takes a little work to do, but once you do it, it's a sure fire way to get a fire going, guys. We're gonna uh, prime up our uh, ferrocene rod here. And there you guys go. The fat wood went up, and this feather stick stuff behind it will also go up as well with it from the kindling we made from the lower branch. Just throw that on there and this will burn steadily to get you an emergency fire going from fat wood. Fairly easy. 
and we're just using the lower branch of the pine tree for kindling that's all and it's dry on the center when you do this and we're just going to put this on here and the lower branches also have, have some resin in them too this is just to get kindling going to get your fire going to where you put hardwoods on here to basically start a fire guys also too I forgot to mention with this fat wood and all this wood I've been burning I cut off all the vents of the fire here so we're gonna smother this into charcoal and we'll come back over overnight and uh, check it out see if we got some charcoal or not this is how you could use a grill to make charcoal so you can make filters or you can make pine sap pitch pine you can make pitch pine sap as well an all-in-one process here guys <laughs> okay by smothering it off the wood you basically are turning it into charcoal it'll eventually burn through once you get it to burnt to a certain point you want it kind of black and we'll close the lid off and smother this wood into charcoal so we can use for a later project like maybe make a filter or we can make a uh, you know bushcraft filter or some pine pitch from sap i'll collect some sap later and show you guys how to make pine pitch um okay guys hope you like this video on how to locate fatwood and different types of ways you can find fatwood in the field guys if you like this video please hit the like share and subscribe this is your old pal hondo from hillbilly tactical peace out you